क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीडियो वी आर विथ एलेवन चैप्टर ऑफ माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग सो फार वी हैव एड्रेस सेवरल ऑफ द चैप्टर्स रिपोर्टिंग द जनरेशन ऑफ माइक्रोवेव एनर्जीज एंड देन द ट्रांसमिशन देयर सो नाउ लेटेस्ट एड्रेस द माइक्रोवेव रेजोनेटर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ द कैविटी द डिवाइस इज कॉल्ड एज माइक्रोवेव कैविटी रेजोनेटर्स सो फर्दर वी शैल बी सींग द डिटेल्स फॉर द रेक्टेंगुलर कैविटी रेजोनेटर्स द circular cavity resonators and so on we shall be having there so now what are the microwave cavities let us first of all get introduced to so here we start with our topic the topic is microwave cavities so to talk about what exactly the microwave cavity resonators are these are basically the metallic enclosures so these are the metallic enclosures now what is the use of these metallic enclosures is that the metallic enclosure confines the electromagnetic energy so we have the two parts here one is electric and another is magnetic so both the form of the energies are confined by the metallic enclosures called as microwave cavity resonators here now the resonators are basically for the purpose to have storage of the energy and then dissipation of the energy so we can have the storage of electrical energy and dissipation we can have the storage of magnetic energy and the dissipation so this storage and that of the dissipation is governed with the help of quality factor that we have already addressed in the previous unit also and now we shall be further deriving it for the next cavity resonators the rectangular and that of the circular we can see here now when we talk about the energies that are to be stored and dissipated here we have the equivalent inductance inductance that generally we represent by capital l measured in terms of henry and in terms of the equivalent capacitance also represented capital c and it is measured in terms of farads here now the energy dissipation if we have so energy dissipation is confined to the pure resistance measured in terms of ohms here so while having the total operation of microwave cavity resonators we have the storage corresponding to the inductance and the capacitance and the dissipation in terms of the resistance here now we can have the several types of the microwave resonators especially working with the cavities we can have rectangular cavity resonator next to that we have circular cavity resonator and we also have the reentrant cavity resonator now as we have covered with the transmission of microwave signal from one microwave component to another microwave component in the microwave bench i can say here so the words rectangular and circular are very familiar to you as we have dealt with the rectangular wave guide and that of the circular wave guide so the wave guide definition we have seen that wave guide is nothing but the hollow metallic tube when the hollow metallic tube does not allow the microwave signal inside propagating in the direction to get radiated from the walls we say it is rectangular wave guide the cross section is of rectangular shape similar is the case with the circular wave guide only the difference is that it has a circular cross section so we have seen the field equations for corresponding electric and magnetic components in the rectangular and cylindrical coordinate system along with the various types of modes of propagation 
सो दीज टू टाइप्स रेक्टैंगुलर कैविटी रेजोनेटर सर्क्युलर कैविटी रेजोनेटर आर द इसेंशियल मॉडिफिकेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रेजोनेटर्स वी कैन से देअर अपॉन द पर्पज वॉज डिफरेंट इट वॉज टू हैव ट्रांसमिशन फ्रॉम वन कॉम्पोनेंट टू अनादर कॉम्पोनेंट हेन्स दैट मेटेलिक ट्यूब अ वेव गाइड हैड बोथ द एंड्स ओपन देयर सो वेन वी क्लोज बोथ द एंड्स ऑफ द रेक्टैंगुलर वेव गाइड एंड दैट ऑफ द सर्क्युलर वेव गाइड we get them to the form of rectangular cavity resonator and circular cavity resonator here we have also address in the transmission of microwave with the help of rectangular and circular wave guides the excitation modes here so when there it is a hollow cavity inside having the cross section rectangular we call this rectangular cavity resonator we can make the excitation and the resonance condition we can achieve similarly we can also achieve the resonance condition corresponding to the different mode of wave propagation inside for circular cavity resonator also the alternatives with respect to these devices we can either for te mode or tm mode called as transverse electric transverse magnetic modes i hope you know so basically the ideal type of mode propagation is transverse electromagnetic no component of electric or magnetic field vector should be there in the direction of propagation of the microwave here but if it is not possible as like the single conductor cases we have to go for either transverse electric or transverse magnetic so these are the two types of the cavity resonators we shall be addressing very next to this topic the third one reentrant cavity resonator we have already used while learning the second chapter the second chapter where the linear microwave beam tubes we have address there upon the two cavity cliston multi cavity cliston they are actually using the reentrant cavities here so the reentrant cavities are basically we have used either into the coaxial type or that of the toroidal type so these are the different shapes corresponding to the two grids of the reentrant cavities here so from one and two of the grids from any one we can take the output or we can excite the mode into the hollow cavity of reentrant cavity there so let us talk about the resonance condition so theoretically when we talk about the given resonator so that time there upon we come to have infinite number of resonance modes and here each mode corresponds to a particular resonance frequency now what happens at the resonance frequency at the resonance frequency we obtain maximum amplitude so when the frequency is at the resonant frequency we have the maximum amplitudes made possible so we have the peak values of the energies corresponding to that of electric and magnetic field vectors are equal so now with respect to the rectangular and that of the circular wave guide we know the concept of dominant mode so for the wave guides we have either the tm mode or te mode especially we have the representation for example tm suffix mn te suffix mn here so m and n are the values holding the integer values we can say here that are giving us the information regarding the half waves or the field variation of the electric and magnetic field vectors inside the wave guide cross section we can say here now when we have the different combinations as like the tm01 tm10 tm11 tm12 correspondingly for t 10 t 11 t 12 t 23 like that we have several of the modes possible and the mode that is offering us the cut off frequency to be the least possible value or in another words 
giving us the cutoff wavelength to be the most possible value. That mode is called as dominant mode. So here the waveguides most possibly are referring to the cutoff frequency value. When we talk about the rectangular cavity resonator or the circular cavity resonator, we should be confined to that of the resonant frequency. So the resonant frequency can be denoted as F suffix R here. So the mode of microwave propagation inside the cavity resonator that is offering us the least possible value, the lowest value of the resonant frequency is called as dominant mode for the cavity resonator. So I hope this much of discussion to see what exactly the microwave cavities is enough and we can continue the chapter microwave resonance in the next lecture by addressing the rectangular cavity resonators. For more such information and the details you can subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you.